Hi there, friends. I am on here. This is my name is Kamala Larson, for those of you that don't know me, and I am on a mission to fill my world with love and positivity and cast out fear. So not a better time than now to really bring that strength into yourself of love and casting out fear. So today's little mission is um, I have my little my little support right here, my little assistant, and she's on the floor playing. And so my thing today, I had this mindset and some things I listened to, a bunch of different things, I connected them all together. So viruses, venom, bee stings, that's what today is about, okay? So what is the virus? We come up with antidotes to the, um, the viruses. We have venom, we come up with anti-venom, we come up with uh, bee stings, we have EpiPens. So everything is there to balance nature out. So we have thinking viruses. So that's where I'm gonna focus today. So let's take a look back. Um, I see that we're in, we're entering into another spiritual warfare. In my mind, that's what I think we're entering. And um, the enemy just keeps trying to work on us, keeps trying to just bring us down to our knees. And we have antidote, we have anti-venom, we have EpiPens. So our thinking can be poisoned. And in the past, um, um, I want to look at this in a way that says, what can we do to protect us and build on, on the real truth of what's really happening? So how do we build on this? We're going to use the antidote. We're going to use the anti-venom. We're going to think of it as the EpiPen to come back to love and that truth. So my story is one I'll share with you. It's a little bit vulnerable, and it, um, uh, it's it's not one that I am proud to share with you, but I am going to share because I'm going to go from the victim. The antidote is victory. So I am no longer sitting and suffering as a victim. I have victory, and I think that is the amazing story, and I hope this can help some of you women out there, men. I hope this will allow you to take the chance on yourself to step into that victorious state and go that way with your life and just notice that there's other people out there. So my story, I was being infected. I think Satan used another person to infect me. So that person was able to have the power to crush my soul, to remove any human decency that I had alive in me, to just try and pull that out and remove it. So that goes through a sad situation, a sad circumstance that I found myself crying to sleep every night and a sad situation where I cried a lot because my I gave with my whole heart and I gave everything I had. I gave all my time to this person. I gave everything that I had in myself to this person, almost like an idol. So that I became self-aware, an antidote. I came, became self-aware to understand what I was really giving. And when this person, when I gave, this person would, um, you know, inadvertently, like the abuse wheel. If you go and find an abuse wheel, I had it all with this person and it was not good. The sexual, the verbal, the physical, there was things where I, I was choked by this person and three people had to pull this person off of me and it blew a blood vessel in my eye. And so I couldn't walk around like hiding that. It, it started to happen right in front of other people. And to that, to me, this is not a story to share, to get sympathy or go and have a pity party for myself. This is a story to share that I have victory now. I'm no longer around that person. And I, as soon as I could be sick and tired of being sick and tired, my world opened up. I couldn't believe I was so thankful to God. My world just opened up. I walked into business after business with people, surrounding myself with people that are amazing, amazing people who just look at me and say, wow, Cammie, how could you sit there and stay in that? How could you do that? I don't see you as that person because now I have my voice back. I have my confidence back. And through this, I get to share with you guys. I would have never shared my voice before. I didn't know what my voice sounded like and I didn't like my voice. And so I have this confidence. 
I have this look deep inside of myself. Now I believe I want all of me. Why wouldn't other people want all of me to share with you the love and the connection? So my heart is so active that it's so big now that I get to share it in the right direction. That toxic direction, no, I'm not sharing it there anymore. It's not well respected there. I'm sharing it in this direction now. My antidote was victory. That's how I got to go in that direction. I woke up. These little things that God kept trying to, Jesus kept trying to say, Cammie, I'm guiding you. Come with me this way. And I just, I would cast it away, the opportunity. So what is poor? Passing over opportunity repeatedly. I had a poor mindset. What is the antidote of that? I take the opportunity, I take action. My heart is active. I'm taking these opportunities with people, connecting with the right people. These people have hearts like I do. I am passing it out there and I'm putting it out there. And it is um, active here on earth. I bring it here. I get to share it with you through Christ and I get to share my love to all. And if you have I'm gonna share it anyways. If that person out there doesn't like my heart, they wanna crush my spirit, guess what? I have victory now. I know my power. I know I have a voice. I have confidence now. I look at myself and I believe in myself. I look at that girl that I denied before, that um, hope deferred makes the heart sick. That's what I was. I have an antidote now. I don't have to be that anymore. I'm aware. So I'm a new woman. I now have an understanding of my royalty. The royalty is in my blood. I believe that. I am so amazed that I would just pass over those opportunities repeatedly. No one needs to treat anyone else. Women, and if that's you and you're caught in a situation that someone's not respecting your heart, someone's not respecting who you are, man, I just, I have a heart for you and I just want to cast out that fear. Take that opportunity to move away from that. Take that opportunity to figure out who you are and what's keeping you there. Um, so I was captive, you know, in that setting. I was captivated in that setting. A captive, but I was free. I didn't even realize the door was open the whole time. I thought it was closed. It was a poor mindset. And so I am a new woman. I take back that um, woman that I always wanted to be that I am now. And now I look back, that's just a lesson, right? That's a lesson that I got to learn from, that I am now looking like, wow, I had to go through those lessons, cry myself to sleep every night. That's a lesson I didn't learn. I cried myself to sleep. I'd wake up, I'd try to learn another lesson. Nope, I kept repeating the same lesson every day until now. I don't cry myself to sleep anymore. I go to sleep with all this gratitude in my heart. I wake up with all this gratitude, giving thanks in my heart. I'm so glad of who I am now. And I get to, I get to have that. That's the antidote to the mind virus, that thinking, the stinking thinking. That's the antidote. So we have love. We, that is huge. We have the light that we can share from our heart. We have that heart reflection. Anyone who doesn't like our love, anyone that doesn't like our love, love anyways. Share your light anyways. Anyone who doesn't like the reflection in your heart, reflect your heart anyways. Anyone who doesn't have the awareness of what we have, be aware of any anyways of yourself. Anyone who doesn't have gratitude for who we are, be gracious and gr have gratitude anyways. Anyone that doesn't like our faith, have that faith anyways. I just am so excited about sharing this with you because I think more than ever, now we need this. We need this message now. And it's like a snake bite and a bee sting. The bee sting can only sting once. That poison's in you only one time and that bee does not get to sting again, but there's an antidote to it. It's an EpiPen. And to the snake bite, we have an anti-venom. So we take that venom from a snake and supposedly they use Australian lambs that, um, thank you, honey. We have Australian lambs that um, have the highest blood that they can build this venom with and make it the most anti-venom potent um, for a venom, venomous snake bite. So take that and apply it to the story of Adam and Eve. So Adam and Eve got bit by a snake, right? What did that, what did that poison? It poisoned in their thinking. What do we get today when we get bit by the poison of this spiritual warfare? The snake, the devil, always trying to come back and 
get our stinking thinking back on us. No, the antidote is the anti-venom, the blood of Jesus Christ. So God's only son, they call him the Lamb of God. Why is it the Lamb of God? Because that's where the anti-venom, the most powerful anti-venom is created from the Lamb. So take that anti-venom, remove that stinking thinking with love. As a man thinketh, so is he. So many different scriptures in there that are mind-blowing that some I don't even know, but as a man thinketh, so is he. No, that's thinking, thinking. Don't think anything but love and light and the reflection of your heart and your awareness and your gratitude. Transition yourself into that. Water those seeds and watch what becomes of you. It's so true um, that, um, so I just wanna say like, God gives us this cure. He, sh he gave his only son for us. In three days, he rose again. So he got bit, he died, and rose again and said, I declare that um, you are all saved. And if you believe that, guess who you're saved by? Christ. But guess who has the cure? You do. You are the cure. You are the anti-venom. Look deep within inside yourself. You have the cure. It's yourself. Look around. What do you want to change about your life? You get to do it. Listen to some of Les Brown. He talks about it all the time. You have the love. You have the light. You have the heart reflection. It all comes down to deep inside of you. And so I just wanted to share that message with you folks today. Kinsley. Oh, here she is. Do you have anything to share with everyone about love? Um, yeah. Yeah. What does she share? Um, so about love, when I, she said, um, and um, I remembered it because I forget it a lot. So, but what do you have to say about love? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, so about love. Oh, uh, not about a man. About love. Oh, she's just excited. Mom's life is really getting good, aren't you? You excited about that? What do you think about love and overcoming situations? I don't know. You don't know? Can you tell me about something that you like? I don't know. How do you share love? Um, I share love of being kind to people. Can you look at the camera? And what else about love? Um, I just, don't know. You don't know? Just being kind to people? Uh -huh. And you just think that, um, what about fear? What do you think about that? How do you get rid of fear? Uh, uh, I think I never really got rid of fear, I don't think. You never really got rid of it? No. <laughs> you cast it out with love, right? Yeah. Oh, you do, buddy. Thanks, friends. I hope you like this message. Comment below, please. Yes, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Comment below. I'll have more good stuff coming. And just love to share um, anything I can to build up our world, build up our communities, um, help people connect and share love and anything I can do to um, help you. If you know anyone in a situation that needs help, I'd be happy to reach out to them and um, help them. So thanks, friends. Have a great day.